Welcome to SharePoint Online Tutorials. In this video, we'll discuss how we can create a SharePoint list view. And there is a different types of views were available in SharePoint list. So how we can create a standard view in the SharePoint list, how we can filter and sort the data inside that, how we, how we can make the list items as a group, and how we can edit the existing list view. And also we can add and remove the columns inside the view and how we can set the default view inside that. So first, we'll start with creating a view. So to create a view, we can go in different ways. So here we have an option. This is all items. So we are already in the all items view. We can able to see this all items view. And if you want to create a new view, new view, and here we have an option. And the current view also we can able to modify so for that here we have edit current view option but here this option will give you when i hit this one it will give you an option to enter the view name and it is a what as a list as a calendar as a gallery and also if you want to make this as a public view or a private view that we can do it from here but here we have very less option once we create and we can able to modify that instead of this option we can utilize other option from the list settings so for that i'm going to list settings under list settings we have an option called views here and here we have only one view inside this list that is all items so this will show all and this is a default view and the mobile view also it is and the default mobile view also this view only now to create a new view here we have an option called create view so inside this we have different different type of options to create a views total we have one two three four types this is a standard view just before we saw all items view that is same as this standard view and this is a data sheet view and this view data in an editable spreadsheet format that is convenient for bulk editing and quick customization this we see kind of editing edit in grid view the same this one this is a calendar view and if you have any data which related to the uh, dates and then you can able to create a calendar view or of course the normal view also you can create and you can see when it is created when it is modified that kind of things in the calendar view the last one is gantt view so this view list items in a gantt chart to see a graphical representation of how a team's task relate over time so this is most probably when you're working with an a task related things and then you can create this grant view now for this list in the standard view is the best one so i'm creating standard view click on this standard view option now here we have an option to enter the view name okay i'm just going to create identify the technology related stuff or maybe i want to group the data with the technologies and then I'm giving a name as technology. And next option is make this the default view. So when you make this view as a default view, whenever you open your list and this view will open instead of opening the all items view. This will discuss once we create this view, skip this one. And here we have option called view audience. Here we have two options. One is create a personal view and the next one is create a public view. When you create a personal view, that will be available to you only whenever other people opens this list and this view will not be available to other people. So that is called personal view. Here, the, the, they given a description as personal views are intended for your use only, which means it is not available to others. The next one is create a public view, which means if you create a view and that will be available to the public who have access to the list. So that's why I'm creating this public view. Now under this we have columns option. Now we have type, title, technology, project end date and location. Now this type I can link it to the document and this title link it to the item with the edit menu. The next one technology we created project tender date we created and also created a location these all are metadata fields which created by system itself 
the app created by app modified by who created it and who modified it and this is about the compliance id and the content type created created by these all are system generated fields all are system generated fields so if you want to add any of these columns into this view yes you can able to add for example i want to add id and i want to add who created it so this is created by me so this is about column whatever the column you want to keep in the view you can whatever the column you don't want to keep in the view and you can you can unselect that the very next option is sat we have the data inside this list what i'll do is i'll open the site contents in a new tab and then we'll open this all projects in this all projects we have the title of that and we have the technology we have project and the data and the location if you want to sort the data based on the title you yes you can able to do that so first i want to sort the data by title so here we have title so i just selected link to the item with the edit menu so that's what we selected actually here to display in the view if you want to sort the second column also this is the first priority and you want to select the second column also to sort and you can but i'm not selecting one would be enough because we have less columns here the next one is filter now i want to filter the data based on the location for example i have locations i want to filter data data only which is related to india so first we will select one country then two countries like that will do that so first i'm selecting location is equal to india done we'll come back we have and and our options we can use any like for example if i want to get india or us then we'll select that one we'll come back and we'll see that option when we are editing this is about the tabular view and this is allow individual item check boxes yes i'm keeping that and then group by so now i'm selecting this india i have share point and uh, yeah i have share point good so we have two items and we can able to see now i want to group by technology then select technology so this is first group if you have technology plus something and you can able to group that one also we have an option here and also here by default show groupings collapsed and expanded collapsed only later we can expand because if you directly expand then that will come if you have thousands of items it's difficult if you collapsed and then you can select it and you can expand it later so number of number of groups to display per page and if you want to increase this count this is 30 by default you can increase up to 100 as well you can increase that now the next option is total so this option will give you the count only on the top of the item so for example if i select location right it will give only one because we we are filtering and title will keep it count on the top of the title we'll see this count and this is about styles and if you want to see the data as a basic table or if you want to see the data with a box or no labels and box or newsletter style whatever the style if you want and you can pick from here but keep the default and that looks better if you want to change with a table style or boxer style whatever you want you can do that now this folders option if you want to show the data inside the folder this option is better and you don't want to show the data inside the folder or you want to show all the items on the on the view without folders then you need to select this and this one show this view in all folders which means if you go inside the folder also the filter will work and in the top level folder only you just want to filter the data on the top level of the which means root folder then you need to pick this one or you want to you want to apply this folders concept in the inside the content type and you can select this option and here the item limit for example i have 200 items and a single page how many items you want to show i want to show 30 items and then i can see in the bottom there is a page nation option to move to the next page that is about it
if you want to increase the count you can able to increase this count and the last one is mobile related and if you want to enable this view for the mobile access yes i want or make this view the default view for the mobile access you can make this as a default view for the mobile access currently if you are not able to check this one in the mobile view but if you want you can and the next one is number of items to display in the view web part for this view three in the mobile not in the desktop the field to display in the mobile this is this title initial so that is about the view i just given an ms technology now it is a public view i selected some columns i started with the title i filtered with the location i grouped by with the technology and then total i just selected for title to show the count the style is the default the folder show items inside the folder and this is about the mobile view and the 30 is the items limit for a single page then click ok see we'll check one after another now the data is grouped with the technology we have total three items only so one is with the technology js and see location is india and another technology is shape and we have total three projects the location equal to india see only three items now we filtered the data in the technology.aspx and the location is india now we have two technologies javascript and shape and it's grouped with the technologies you can expand and you can collapse these options and the count is here only for title only the count is showing total three items and sorting we need to check the sorting and we given sorting option for title for title so we'll check in this group c a and u is coming and we have less items so that's why the filter it's not applying with the title in in these groups but in individual group individual group the sorting is applied for the title and a is coming first and u is coming later and we can check and we can modify this view first and we can add some more data we can add one more filter to see the data and then the count will increase and we can see that sorting options and also this id is not available in the all items view now id is available and created by is not available in the all items view you just check the difference between these two go to all items from here now the created by and id is not available and the data is coming completely here and now there is no sorting in the title c a x r n there is no sorting here and all the locations is coming here now i'll go back to the technology now there is a lot of changes in this we filtered the data we grouped the data and we are seeing the count and we are seeing additional fields also available in this to modify this here we have edit current view option from here also you can go to edit this view now you can see edit option instead of this again you can go back from here list settings come back to views and click on technology so we'll add some more filters here now if it is location is equal to india or location is equal to usa so i added one more filter here click okay now see the count is increased to seven for shape point we have three items when when i expand this i can see three and three coming in a sorting order a then n then u now the sorting is applying to here and also the id and created by is appearing here and we have items for india usa and expand all expand all now see the location is usa 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 india and then india usa india we only got 
the items which country or location is equal to USA and India in all projects we have UK and UK also but it is not appearing in this view now we'll discuss about the default view for example now I'm going back to site contents I'll try to open this all projects when I open this it that it redirecting to all items dot ASPX because this is the default view that is the default view that's why it is a it is moving here what I'll do is again we'll go to list settings see all items default view is here and then I'm going back to technology now we'll change this to default view make this the default view click OK now what happens when I go back to the site contents I have all projects hit on it now now it is still redirecting to all items dot ASPX but it will not for that first you just need to refresh this page click on all projects now see this is not all projects this is technology dot ASPX why it is because this is the default view whenever you close you open this you can able to see technology.aspx by default it is opening so that is about that so that's why we set this as a default view whenever you open this list and it will redirect to this particular view so that is about default view so we discussed about how we can add and how we can remove the columns inside edit view we'll go back to the edit current view So those are the options were available here if you want to change the url you can able to change the url for this view also and this is until this the list url and this is the view url you can able to change the url as well and from here you can add and remove the columns and from here you can put the sorting from here you can put the filters here we have 10 options now we have one Two second filter is available and when you click this one the fault third filter is available fourth one is available fifth sixth seventh eight nine ten only ten filters is available not more than that and this is grouped by if you want to change grouped by you can do that and we have the subgroup option also we have only two options one group and one subgroup and the totals you just put that count and it, it gives the count that we discussed see the count will come here okay here so this is about style and this is about folders if you want to keep the folders you can if you don't want you you just click show all items without folders and this is about the limit of the items we don't have more than 30 items to check this page nation so that is about view creating view and modifying view adding and remove columns putting the filters and sortings and uh, creating the group by and then making this view as a default view so that is complete information about SharePoint list view in SharePoint online. Thanks for watching my video.